Let's be honest, the race to build the world's first serviceable and safe self-driving car has been a truly bumpy one. Prototypes have been released only for them to have a fatal accident and get sent back to the workshops again. Long-awaited release dates have been continuously postponed, with many makers like General Motors opting to scrap a release date altogether. What's more, up till now at least, the race has been scrambled upon by multiple competing players, leading more to corrosive completion than constructive cooperation. Whether we look at Google, Cruise, Baidu, Tesla, Toyota, Aurora, the playing field is filled with hunters eager to excavate the grand prize of building the world's first fully functional self-driving car. Anyhow, if we were to track the dawn of the race for the self-driving car, we would have to take ourselves back to 2004. Then the US military's technology research wing, DARPA, was holding its DARPA Challenge. Essentially, the DARPA Challenge was a race in the Mojave Desert between the first few robotic cars built at the time. But 16 years later as we speak today, not a single one of them has been licensed for public usage on the roads. That isn't to say that progress hasn't been made, but that the journey has proven far slower and painstaking than previously imagined. In 2018, General Motors pledged to unveil its first shiny fleet of self-driving taxis to hit the roads. Today, not a single GM-stamped self-driving car is in sight. Since 2019, GM has kept its release date as undefined which means that we may never truly know when the cars will arrive. And even the self-proclaimed champion of building the cars of the future, Elon Musk's Tesla, hasn't fared much better. Previously hoping to release over a million robo-taxis by the end of 2019, Tesla has delayed their release date to 2021 instead. The most publicly acknowledged frontrunner up till now seemed to be Google's Waymo, based on its piles of venture capital that it sits on, $3 billion to be exact, Waymo has been viewed as the most promising contender for many investors. What's more, it currently runs a fleet of delivery vehicles in sun-kissed Phoenix, Arizona, granting it the bonus of a tried and tested system. And despite Tesla's minor setbacks, its progress in its assisted driving systems have been formidable. With many road users across the United States using Tesla's semi-autonomous systems, where the driver is only partially in control, Tesla has gathered a raft of data on the varied road conditions that cars find themselves in. This will enable them to develop better and more precise autonomous systems that could eventually become fully autonomous. However, there's still another player we're yet to mention that's currently lurking in the shadows but slowly overtaking the aforementioned frontrunners. Sneaky, I know, but certainly deserving of a little investigation. This company that seems to be the new frontrunner in the ferocious race is none other than Intel-owned Mobileye. Yes, it takes an astute set of eyes to detect the rise of Mobileye, but soon enough, it could truly claim the trophy as the least expected winner of this intensifying race. In this video, we shall uncover how exactly this is the case, and why. So, first things first, who on the muddled earth are Mobileye anyway? Simply put, Mobileye is an Israeli startup established with the aim of creating camera-centric autonomous driving assistant. Founded by Amnon Shashwa, a PhD in artificial intelligence from MIT, Mobileye has quietly emerged as a behemoth in the self-driving race. It all started when Shashwa suggested in 1998 that, with a single camera, he could synthesize a single camera eye that recognizes cars, roads and pedestrians, all without the help of expensive radar or lidar technology. His proposition was based on the fact that if humans can use a single eye to see the world, then so can cars. At the time, it was considered radical and perhaps a little unrealistic. The key limitation for a camera-centric model was that it could not perceive 3D images and did not possess depth perception, as Shashwa calls it. 
This means that a camera cannot numerically measure the depth between its car and the next car, and has to therefore rely on mere perception and cues to calculate the depth, much like how our own eyes do it. But what weighed in favor of cameras was that it was far cheaper than the super expensive radar or lidar could ever be. So, now that we understand the product, we can deal with the question of what makes Mobileye such an encouraging prospect in the race for self-driving cars. Firstly, and very interestingly, Mobileye CEO Amnon Shashwa has always predicted 2022 as the groundbreaking year of the self-driving car's birth, so to speak. Additionally, and partly explaining why Mobileye hasn't enjoyed much publicity, is that it has never made any other promise, and nor has it ever over-promised anything. And notably, its most recent achievements indicate that it could genuinely hit its target, or at least come very close to hitting it. With launches planned as far as China in the east and Paris in the west, Mobileye's automated driving systems are gaining popularity worldwide. In 2007, Mobileye released its first product, called ADAS, which stands for Autonomous Driver Assistant System. In that same year, BMW, Volvo and GM became the first customers to incorporate the up-and-coming ADAS system in their cars. See, from the very beginning, the fundamental idea behind Mobileye's ADAS was to spawn a lone self-driving vehicle from day one, but to gradually construct individual components of self-driving cars in a brick-by-brick -brick fashion. Coupled with a bit of laser-sharp focus and persistence, the hope was that they'd eventually land a system that no longer needs a human's input for any function, i.e. a fully autonomous self-driving car. So, behind the scenes, and one by one, Mobileye added new features into its system, like the ability to recognize traffic, speed limits, automatic emergency braking, and later, adaptive cruise control. By 2014, its profits were doubling with every passing year, and its technology was being used in over 5 million cars. What's more, Mobileye had accrued over 10 billion gigabits of data from the real-life usage of its system. Simultaneously in 2014, Tesla became its newest customer and introduced ADAS into its range of electric cars. Tesla's cars, popular in the market at the time, became another minefield of data to add to Mobileye's bursting collection. However, and very quickly, Mobileye and Tesla's relationship began to crumble over claims that Tesla was misleading customers on its technology. In 2016, one of Tesla's cars underwent a fatal crash whilst using Mobileye's system. Accusing Tesla of falsely advertising its technology as a driverless system when it clearly wasn't, Mobileye dumped Tesla and continued on its own path. By then, however, Mobileye had guzzled 70% of the market in autonomous technologies, eventually drawing the attention of Intel, which it then purchased for a whopping $15 billion. Since then, boasting more resources and employees, its growth skyrocketed and shook the automotive market. What became apparent was that Mobileye's bid on camera-centric vehicles was actually proving successful, contrary to what partners turned competitors like Tesla once predicted. When tests were carried out in Jerusalem's messy traffic, the test vehicle of Mobileye successfully navigated all the topsy-turvy twists and turns without hitting a single person or vehicle. When the video of this test, which was raw and unedited, was shown to an audience of tech enthusiasts, they burst in applause. Rightly so. See, building a self-driving machine to navigate a road with countless threats and hazards was always going to be a complex endeavor. However, CEO Dr. Shashwa was well aware of this. As a result, Mobileye's strategy was two-pronged. Alongside the camera, Mobileye integrated high-definition mapping into its system. With the help of the camera's eyes, the maps would receive a source of information to register the tiny and trifling details on the roads that radars would otherwise miss. Because, after all, what makes human drivers so effective, or at least effective enough, is that our minds can register the unpredictable and spontaneous changes in our environment. Computer algorithms, on the other hand, are coded to function along predictable and repeatable systems. As a result, they aren't as good as humans when it comes to noting the fast and unpredictable changes in our surroundings, like an earthquake for example, or a pedestrian crossing in unsafe areas, or minor roadworks that maps otherwise wouldn't detect. 
So by nurturing symbiosis between the high-definition maps and the cameras, the ADAS system is able to adapt, readapt, and realign continuously, thereby overcoming the challenge posed by unpredictable flows of traffic. And that's not all either, because we have yet to describe its cost advantages over its rival technology, LiDAR. Essentially, LiDAR uses laser technology and emits beams of light in all directions to then sense the buildings and cars around it. As a result, and unlike camera-centric systems, it can then build a 3D picture of the world. However, despite its advantages, the reason why competitors using LiDAR never managed to reach the same levels of success as camera-centered Mobileye is simply because it has been a very expensive technology to field. Until recently, this made it non-scalable, unfeasible, and therefore unprofitable. Now, however, with the passage of time, LiDAR is becoming increasingly cheaper and competitors like Tesla and Google that rely on it may be able to gain lost ground. Actually, hang on, not so fast. Now, here is where Mobileye gets super cunning, as we shall reveal in a moment. See, Mobileye already has a well-established system that can partially drive a car without the help of a human. As a result, its foundation is robust and ready for further development. So, what does Mobileye decide to do in this scenario? Well, what they did with a masterstroke of genius was to only start expanding into LiDAR the moment its prices tanked, and not with the intention to replace the core of its system, but as a separate and supplementary system altogether. In doing so, not only did they get the technology right by starting with cameras, but the timing right too, by only expanding into LiDAR when its price made it profitable to do so. Yep, even I can't help but say, what a home run Mobileye has scored there. And tellingly, since results speak for themselves, in 2019 the number of systems sold hit a staggering 17.4 million. This isn't an accumulated figure from the sum of all previous year's sales, but as a standalone 2019 figure. As of today, over 60 million cars are cruising the roads with Mobileye's ADAS system. In other words, that's 60 million drivers enjoying a hands-off and leisurely car journey. But what's amazing is that Mobileye has achieved this without selling a single vehicle, as it focuses on providing the system instead of assembling a large and complex vehicle at the same time. Subsequently, whilst Waymo once held the spotlight as the front-runner, Mobileye's quiet victories in the real world have propelled it far closer to the finish line than any other competitor. With time, it has quietly nurtured it a brand that promises reliability, profitability and gentle growth, making it a very attractive offering for ordinary car manufacturers. To sum up, if Mobileye is practicing for the race yesterday, then analogously, Mobileye is truly sprinting ahead today. So, if I had to place my bets, I sure know whose victory I'd bet on. So, would you enjoy driving hands-free? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you all for watching, I will see you soon. Continuing to share great business stories past and present, and whatever else happens in the business world. So thank you all, and have an excellent rest of your day.